Marcus, and this is my video for my week three, um, covering week three reading for this class. Um, in this class this week, we started out talking about um, going back over calculus, uh, acceleration, like things that people think were in the course, but we weren't sure if we've seen them yet. Um, and we finished up talking about like fundamental interactions um, involving gravity um, and electricity, things like that. Um, so basically, the main idea is we're going over fundamental interactions, um, getting used to those relationships um, with directional vectors and things like that, as well as being able to like estimate. Um, I think the video was called "Estimating Brief Interactions." That was the name of the video. Um, so really, I think this week we're going to be for focusing more on the interactions between the system and the surrounding involving these forces, such as gravity and electricity um, or electric forces. Um, and so uh, one of the topics that were reviewed for me uh, was more calculus. Um, that video, I mean, just having taken calculus before, I was able to see most of the stuff that, like, oh, I knew calculus was present just because I'd taken it before and, you know, I was able to recognize, um, like, the integral formulas and things like that. Um, now, is it still hard? Yes, obviously. But um, it was a review in a sense, but I, I still need to learn it. But um, And then another topic that was a review was when they went into depth using the relationship between the different charges. Because uh, like opposites attract, I've always known that. Um, so say you have like one negative force, one positive force in between your system and the surroundings, those are gonna wanna attract towards each other. So that means the vector that you have for R is gonna be pulling the system towards that surrounding or the source of the, the force as where if they have the same charge, so one's positive and the other's positive, it's, they're gonna wanna repel against each other. So that means the vector's gonna be pointing in the opposite direction. Um, now, for the topics that I learned, um, um, a lot of them I learned, so uh, fewer. Uh, also in the fundamental interactions sections, um, the universal constants, they have the universal gravitational constant, uh, as well as a universal constant for the electricity. Um, and then the Coulomb's law is also new, uh, so I, I didn't know that they had these. Um, uh, I didn't know that they had these little constants that you had to use and things like that. And also, um, another one was like the relationship to momentum and impulse. Um, so having to be able to take your position, your uh, update position formula and stuff like that, and relate that to momentum and impulse. Um, so that was a little new. Uh, one of the topics that relate to my study goes back to the first video uh, involving the calculus. So, um, that's definitely a topic that I'm going to be using a lot in the future. Um, so it definitely helps that it's in this course so I can, you know, learn like a new angle and just get a better understanding of it overall. So the more angles I take at it, the better I'll understand it. Um, but one of the most confusing topics for me was probably the Coulomb's Law at the end. I think it was in the end of the last video. They started talking about concentric hollow shells. Um, and we're talking about how it's layered like an onion and you can layer these charges and all in the shells. So it um, didn't really make sense at first. Um, so I, I mean, I recommend going on YouTube, like I said last week. Uh, YouTube for me has always been the biggest go-to for these kind of problems. Um, but I'll definitely have to go on more YouTube just to try to figure that out. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff, but I feel like that's been the most confusing one for me. Um, but... I, I just wasn't sure what it meant by uh, the hollow shell. It, it said uniformly distributed mass. Um, so it's just like building up all these charges and all this mass together. And um, there's going to be a lot about it. I'm not sure if they didn't go into as depth in it or if I'm just missing something. Um, but that was all about the charges and talking about like dimension of the SI unit. And that's why it's called Coulomb's Law. Um, but yeah, so for the most part, a lot of new topics this week. Um, some were more review than I thought they were going to be, um, just such as the basics of charges as well as, you know, introducing calculus and acceleration. Um, but I definitely will have to, you know, keep up with all the new information because we're going to go into more depth this week. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll look forward to week three.